Good morning. My name is Paul Palmer. Today I want to talk about image, or really first impressions. So, as you can see, we're in the lockdown and I've had my hair cut. Well, sort of. My wife's a, a dog groomer, so uh, she decided to groom me. I think it's come out okay. Anyway, back to the point. The um, One of the things about a good inspection, a good regulatory inspection, is preparing. Now, a lot of people focus on the metrics, the records, the SOPs, and, and often you'll find when you go in for an inspection and you're supporting or hosting, that they've maybe updated 20, 30, 40 SOPs the day before, or within the last week. And often it's the ones that were overdue for um, review, should have been done maybe six months ago, three months ago. But because the inspectors come in, they've done it the day before, or they've issued them just before. Because that's when they put the pressure on to actually get the uh, decision made about how things are gonna move forward. It's not really the best approach. And if you do that, the inspectors are gonna look at the previous version, and they're gonna try and find, they're gonna look at the records and see that they've been completed in accordance with the previous version, which puts you at risk because you've just made the change for a reason. So maybe the previous one wasn't the way you were working. Anyway, further going forward, the other thing that I like to look at is preparation and image that you're gonna get as they walk around. Now, the first thing you're gonna do when you walk in and do an audit or an inspection is look at how well the, the place is organized. Look at the tidiness, look at the image from the outside, look at how well things are being managed. One, one interesting, quite amusing area that uh, I know that the inspectors look at is the toilets because they think, well, they're gonna look at the uh, facility. Somebody's gonna have done a walk round and they probably just painted it as often is the case when you walk in, it's just been painted. But if they don't pay attention to the smaller things, to the maintenance in the toilets, then you've got to look further and see if they're actually keeping up to date with everything and look at the preventative maintenance schedule. Then of course you come to the opening meeting and what sort of impression does that give? Is everybody there on time? Maybe even early? Have you got the right people in the room? Do some of the senior management turn up late? Are they all dressed appropriately? Have they actually organized how they're gonna sit? One of the, the key things that you should consider is how are you gonna arrange people around the table? Are there enough seats? You don't wanna be getting in there and find you've got two seats, not enough, so two people have to stand at the back. You've arranged coffee for everybody, but actually you forgot to bring enough coffee cups. Maybe you've got some snacks and something that you're expecting people to share. Whatever it might be, make sure it's reasonable and appropriate. It's really good to make a good impression when you first start on an inspection, because that sets the mood, sets the theme, sets the tone for the day. If you, on the other hand, don't turn up on time, well, then they're gonna be looking at timeliness of the records. If you don't present the right image, maybe somebody's not prepared for the meeting. Maybe they've just come in and they've, they've been dragged in because they've just arrived on their bike in the morning and they're really scruffy. Well, maybe they're gonna look at your machine and, and equipment to make sure it's actually being maintained properly, closer than they would have done otherwise. Everything, when you go in, so when you go round, Look for something that doesn't look right. The first impressions when you walk into a warehouse, look to the top, near the roof. This is something that stands out that's completely different to everything else. Something that maybe should have been destroyed but they've hidden it right at the top because they knew the inspector was coming. Look for an area in the corner that's cordoned off. Why is it cordoned off? What's over there? And often when you investigate further, you'll find something that's not been done properly. So that's it for today. Make sure you make a good impression.